Hello everyone, it's Love here and today absolutely amazing deck that I think you will like a lot because it's a very different style, it's still Azorus Control but Artifacts base and Tesseract Betrayer of Flesh will have so many interactions. It can activate the Collector's Vault for zero mana. You can use Glass Casket and Vault to tap them, so Disruption Protocol is a two mana hard counter spell. The interactions are wild and with Restoration of Eganjo you can on chapter 2 discard the Glass Casket and get all the value with zero mana same for the vault so i think you really really like it uh, don't forget to subscribe it really helps the channel gives you cool daily videos like this and let's go into action have fun guys against mono blue this will be a hard game we definitely don't have too many counter spells but we have quite good interactions so this can kill a gene right so that's 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 meaningful and we have quite a lot of those. Smite a little bit worse, but maybe we can make it work. He knows we don't have counter spells, so he might go for this gene. But then we can Faithful... No, we glass casket it. Faithful Absence is something we want to have countered, so they don't get the card. And then we actually remove something, you know, meaningful. And I think that's the play. Uh, we should probably uh, counter not this, the first. So if they cast it, and a card advantage card, we should probably counter spell. So it will be rough. With Mirex, I think we have some chance to just force him into place, that he wouldn't, you know, play normally. That's very expensive. You know what? This is interesting. It may be spell pierce, but I'll take it. Uh, that's still a counter spell that would be used. He didn't play anything here. Interesting. Two ways to play this matchup. Aether Mirax or just go all in with Tezzeret. And I will go all in. It might be considered, it might be spell pierce, but most players would just try to get the terror. So we will go like this and try to just get some card advantage maybe. Alright, this is definitely a very good draw. We wouldn't draw a land for like three turns, probably. And here you are. We can kill this. We can absolutely kill this. This is something we want countered. And they always defend their gene. So they kind of have to go for it. Oh, the only punishment. All right. All right, you got me a little bit. Let's see how it goes. I can go double smite. Uh, I could go... The vault is pretty amazing, but I think in this situation it really gives us good plays, right? They can kill Tezzeret probably. But we can... Yeah, we just go a Ganjo. That should really help. I mean a Ganjo, the land, right? Oh, I hate it. Please stop drawing cards. Oh no, they even drew more cards. That's always hard. But that's good. If we can protect Tezzeret, that's a big deal. We can even ultimate it, man. They don't have answers. Their answer is never let Planeswalker resolve and we manage to sneak it. Terror, sure. Still hard. Some upkeep stops. But we need to tap the artifact, it will take a moment. I think we keep going. We could also go glass card. It's not great here. Let's keep drawing cards. Innovation has no limits. I need to keep building. I have a lot of cards. So we are probably losing Tezzeret soon. But that gives us more and more pressure and he's not having as many cards as he would love to it's not great that he sees that we have no place i, sh I should bluff a little bit better this way so it might still be a huge tell but you know we're trying still that's not enough to kill tezzeret and the tanks for us a little bit it's really hard to kill the turtle with smite you, you need six open mana and no counter spells at all which Usually is like, no way, man. Emperor is very good, though, because you can kind of go around ward in many cases. I discard something. 
So we get rid of the casket and we get the collector's ward. That's good. Open mana, a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't think we can afford smites, man. Those are not good cards for the matchup. And I think we say go. This is really getting close, man. Desert did so much work. You can see with amount of cards that we have in the end. Yep, that's exactly the card I wanted to see. All right. And I can pay the spell pierce. The problem is he might have to, but there's nothing we can do about this one. He has four of those, or even less, and we have four counter spells, so it is what it is. No Alright. Alright. Let's keep building. You can see that it slowly stacks up. We have more cards and we still match him on the lands. Now we can start playing Emperor, hopefully. So let's see, let's see. Uh, we could go for double block with Samurai. It's fine. It's fine. That's good. It means that we can minus one. That forces one of the plays. Or just a counter spell. Spell Pierce, unfortunate, but what can you do? We take the damage because of Tezzerite we are not at four, but on 14. And we could get something, like a glass cask. <laughs> oh yes, oh absolutely my friend. Enjoy your counter spell. <laughs> and it's no longer here. I love it man, absolutely love it. I don't want to sound for this honestly. Let's just keep playing stuff, they are down to two cards. So what we should be doing right now is super impactful place like this and if that's a counter spell it needs to be a good counter spell it's not I'm finished running from battles I might not and we can still use the board nice so it's either Emperor Sanfor or the new card yeah I know and as you can see uh, I think the glass casket was one of the game deciding plays because here he wanted to cast multiple stuff on the on the same turn and he didn't and of course Tazer are doing like some beast war Man, the Collector's Ward is actually amazing. It becomes one of my favorite cards. Up the Beanstalk, right, so we need to fish for a while. It will take a while. You know, I, I kinda like it. I kinda like it. Right, so we probably will have to cycle some of the cards. Double Murex might be useful. Let's keep using the thing. That's not the right mana to tap. It kinda shows that we don't have blue spells. Which is true, but we don't want our opponent to know about it. What are you? No idea, man. So we can go for Tezzerite, and that will be amazing, because we can go for the Vault as well. And this might be Edict, but I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It's so worth it. And I think we go for a 4-4. Or do we go for a card advantage? This is huge. I need to first activate Tezzeret before he can answer. Yeah, and then we can go for the Vault. But is it a 4 4 treasure? Which is super cool. Or drawing cards? I will go for some instant value. I think it's good. I think it might be Edict. No Tear Asunder is a bit far, but we can provide pressure. So I wanted to make two threats with one card and he can answer one. I'm pretty sure about it, but two will give him some headache and maybe we can sneak some damage, you know, do some magic. Do some magic. He's thinking about it. It might be Tear Asunder, right? Because it's two mana to kill this. But then, if he wants to kill this, he needs to play a land and go for it. I think it's Terra Sander. Ooh, alright. Is this like 5 card control? Alright, I'm not really sure about this one. What's up? 
I guess if he plays blue. All right, so it's just okay. That was a weird opening, I think, but uh, we know the deck. Okay, I I played around something else to be honest. So that means even more that we have to go for the pressure. I could go for a 16, but I still think that's not the right play. Let's plus, see what we get. Her well is pretty amazing. I think we go like this. We could use both, but it's not super needed right now. Farewell. Not good enough yet. Not good enough yet. Oh. Artifact. You ain't artifact. No. Alright. Just making sure. So it means we can... Oh, right, right, right. Because that's a treasure. That's why the tapper uh, holds priority like this. That's a lot of damage. And he doesn't know what we have at dance step. Theoretically, we could draw a counter spell. We need some counter spells, man. One counter spell, and we can, we can win this game. Binding is super brutal, but we are getting back the stuff. Let's see what the target is. It should be Tesseract, probably, right? Yep. So it means that in response, we activate, we get the stuff, and we are getting Tesseract back whenever we want it. All right, I think it's time for with farewell especially. So we we kind of like all of the cards, but we need to decide on one of them, and the treasures might be very impactful. All right, that's a four four. So he was, he's starting to protect himself a little bit more. Honk of the day <laughs> always gets me, but it will be hard. But we can just go with other Tesseract, I think. We want double MEX so we can just play the better round. And we're getting Tesseret. That means four extra mana. I think we keep this for later. Alright. We're going for the maximum damage. And I think I know the plan. Let's see. He could kill the shark, so it might make our play a little bit worse. But I hope it won't. And with seed shark into desert, it should be okay. All right, that's a that's a trade. Kind of suggests he doesn't have a sunfall, but maybe he does. Maybe he does. Mirex here. Go like this. He didn't like Tether, so let's make sure he gets another. I know I could attack with Haze basically. And how much he has? So 5 for the Sun, for he draws a card, he can play 3 draw. I have no reservations about cutting down my opposition. Oh, that's not the first ability. Alright. Alright. True, true. I kinda forgot about this one. So we will go for a different plan. I didn't expect this one. We cannot play stuff, so we will go like this. That kind of forces a sweeper, which should give us some mana advantage. With double seed track, he doesn't really need to clean this. With all the tokens, he might have. Here's the sun for, but we can activate the thing uh, at dance step. So we already have an insane tempo, basically. We can even make Tezzeret into Tezzeret and make both of those 8-8, eight eight, which would be super cool. But we're going like this. Alright, super tempo oriented so far. This one is free, very important. You know what, I'm going for it. It's super weird. But I hope he won't be able to triple remove my stuff. I could also make another Tesseract, but if he removes something, it will be this, right? So it's not really giving as much. He can block one of those, so he can be at two. But he would block the biggest one, right? 
And I think it, he has a binding into uh, the token, something like this, but I might be wrong. It's hard to read that. Maybe it's just a Chongok, in which case double Mirax might really help. Here's the Layla, yeah. That was the kind, the, the thing. But now we could actually get all of this back and get uh, the up the Beanstalk out. That's the only card that we can actually get back. You know what? Let's see the blocks. Are you going to two? Good. So we have board advantage still. Uh, let's play the round first and see what mana we have at our disposal. Definitely blue. We won't have enough mana. So we might go with Mirex as well. Alright. Many consider my tactics cruel, but I get results. Let's start drawing cards. I need results. Disruption Order. protocol. Super good stuff, but is it better than for a while? I kinda don't need those cards, I just need the tempo, so I'm actually going for a counter spell. And when he sees what I discarded, he should know that something serious is up. He cannot play double sweeper on this turn, and that's what he needs. Oh, the top plant is insane for us. This is the most important turn in the game. He needs all the mana he can get. I think we should be able to do it. Not sure, it won't be easy, but I, I hope. If he plays like a Traxa, that's a win, right? He has one mana then. Alright, let's see. I just need to see the play. There is one card and he knows it has to be good. That's super heavy mana. And that's a Leafar, I believe. Unless he has, you know what. And I would make this an 8-8. I don't think it changes too much, because if he has removal, he gets the bigger one. But man, that was close. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, that was a wild game. Alright, we're going first. We have some... I'm, I mean, I like the hand. Especially the collector's board. I really want to keep using this one. All right, and we have a nice advantage because we are going first, so he cannot answer it. It's, it's considered, right? All right, so it seems to be a mono blue then. That might get interesting. He needs to be a pretty passive here, and I'm not, I'm not playing into it. I need to cycle the stuff. Vandar, sure. It's two mana, so we can also go with the smite. Man, I like the Vort. I think it's a pretty cool card. One damage acquired. Good job, bro. I know I'm not casting the Smite, but for one damage I don't have to. You, he can play first or something. I will go with the Sunfall. It's very hard to cast in this kind of situation. And we need to keep developing cards. I think it will get countered, but it also means no first, and we can disruption protocol. I will tap the artifact, I will counter this, and he has some problems, and this is where the ward comes into play. No way he has spell, no way man, alright, man spell pierce is my demise, it's considered right? has to be. Fading Hope? No. Alright, alright. Fading Hope is kinda okay. Like, he pulled it up, he didn't get any value advanced step, he didn't draw cards, so Vandal is not super useful. It's not looking the worst right now. Moment of Truth? It just puts the card. My friend, you are not drawing it. At all. Very, completely different thing. Like, the fact that you get card instead of, you know, drawing is, is just a huge difference all around. Do you have another one? No. You can see that they start to crumble. The only uh, thing we actually need to be careful of is... So mean. Such a mean person. We are going for it. We can see the disruption protocol. I think I I cannot play a dance step on his turn. Like, I cannot use the board. Because then they can flow of knowledge. It seems to be a flow of knowledge deck. And when we tap, it can be good. It might get super rough. 
if he plays something else, terror. I don't like you, terror. Man, having two mana hard counter spell is all the different. He might fight for it, he will get it, but that means a full tap. And I hope we can, you know, make something happen, depending on what the draw. I'm a bit sad I discarded Sunfall. The Vandal suggested some, you know, worse deck. Alright, that might still be something. We get the land, we get some power for the future. And now we have... I would love to draw a land and play it the opposite way, so I get the 3-3 three, three shark, but we didn't draw it. 5 damage is okay. Alright, first hit of the day. Two cards to go. Just don't flow me, please. <laughs> Bro, just, just don't flow me. We can just play the land, so no, no reason to discard. Uh, I could for one. It is pretty good, but not super great. If I do it now, I mean that's a decent shot, right? Let's try. I think it's worthwhile to try. Even if it gets countered, I get a huge token, so the terror becomes weaker. That's his last card. I still get the token, right? And he can attack for 5, 1 top deck to rule them all. So I think it's still okay, even if it gets countered. I don't want to lose the shark. Not yet. <laughs> Double smite. I see, I see. I will activate it and see what I will get. That's a, that's a decent card. And now we can start activate stuff. So I will be aggressive. We have different shark. He cannot really block. I could be aggressive with token, but... Yeah, I will maybe start with architect because I can smite this. And no genes so far. It's a perfect fading hope target, but it will always be useful. Let's see what we get. Man, the vault is absolutely amazing. I have to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is the card. I smirk ya? Yeah, that's not enough. So we will go like this. Because with Architect, we can block the terror, even with the ward cost. That's an interesting one. The damage is here. And now we try to go for this one. We also get some extra tokens, so that's super cool. Man, I like the deck super hard. Man, it starts to... Like, everything keeps working together. And the vault is absolutely amazing. Please don't full priority me. Alright. I was talking to myself. It's fine. And we say go. We have a counter spell. And they are against this kind of board. So they need to do something. I mean, that was a really like strong gameplay. I liked it, man. All right, guys, and we are after the games, and I have to say that I really like the deck. Uh, generally, the synergies are pretty wild. I think the best synergy, even though the Seed Shark has this token thing that can be activated with Tezzeret, and that was so far the best Tezzeret combo, I think. But with Collector's Vault, man, this not only is free, helps you curate your hand, but it actually ramps you. So moment you have four mana for Tezzeret, you instantly start ramping, and this extra mana really adds up. So honestly, I think Tezzeret and Collector's Vault is a huge interaction. Uh, with Glass Casket, it's uh, a little bit dicey. Like, Disruption Protocol uh, tapping the artifact is absolutely amazing because you get two mana hard counter, and in Esper Colors it's not as great, but you know, with a, like Azorius, having double blue is very, very easy, especially that our mana base is super balanced. And then, man, it's two mana hard counter spell. I don't need to explain why is it so good. So this interaction is great. However, the Glass Casket itself feels a little bit like a downgrade for the, you know, usual removal because it's Sorcery Speed. So if you want to get rid of 
squee you it means that they made the token they already got the value so it's a little bit messy that's why we also play smites and steal sunfalls embers you know all of all of this stuff one of the interaction that might not be obvious is restoration of a ganja you can discard either glass casket for guaranteed removal it's also uncounterable which I, I, I'm sure you know by now. And with Collector's Vault, it's it's super fun interaction, right? You discard the card for zero mana, so you never needed to cast it for two. And then you can activate it with Tesseret for zero mana. So in a way, you can you might never pay for anything in this card and still get the full value. So that was one of the intentions of the deck. You can also, if you don't have the mana, if you are super strict on tempo, you can just tap it for disruption protocol and you know still have the effect. You don't forget also the shark tokens are artifacts, so you can always tap them if you don't want to you know activate or anything. So I honestly really like the deck it's super hard to find all the slots for all the cool stuff the last edition was the fairy i'm not sure if it's needed because so far i think we killed quite easily we have restoration sea shark you know a tesseret token so this vault can be a four for very easily and emperors with mirex so i think maybe we can go more answer based like one more glass casket and something else yeah you can maybe more tesseret and casket Maybe that would make deck a bit more consistent. The fairy was last time at last moment edition because I wanted more raw power just to you know get this full value because we don't play memory deluge, we don't play first for discover or anything like this. And about the win rate and all this stuff, uh, we went for wins to losses, and I think that's where the deck could be. Maybe it should be a little bit lower because monoret is on the rise. So now I really want to thank you for all the support, all the nice comments, and don't you worry, we like our streak we'll keep it going and it's fine like we manage and i'm really always super happy to just see you guys and doing the videos and all this stuff so it keeps me going i really really like it so yeah yeah thank you for being here that's basically it i couldn't hope for a better community uh, especially man internet is a wild place so the fact that we are so kind here is absolutely amazing so thank you for that thank you for being on the channel and see you tomorrow Oh, 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 oh.